Something that we can um, look at as well is the same statistic, but on the vacancy front. And that's just to complement a little bit the analysis we've done of vacancies. So we've said that unemployment and vacancies, they always coexist. And their coexistence is described by the Beveridge curve that shows us how that uh, unemployment and vacancies, they seem to always move together. And so what you can do is you can also look at how quickly uh, vacant jobs are able to be filled. Okay, and what we expect, we've said it takes time for people uh, to find jobs, and I gave you the, uh, uh, the argument that it's because you need to find a good match between the worker and the job. Well, if that argument holds, we should also find that it takes time for firms to fill vacancies because you know they also need to screen workers and, and find exactly the right person for their vacant job. And that's what you see here. So, again, um, these are US data, same period, roughly from the 1950s to 2015. So here, you, this is roughly 1950, and this is roughly 2015. And what you can see again, so this monthly, so this is a vacancy filling rate, it's monthly, it tells us the pace at which firms are able to fill their, uh, their jobs. What you can see here is that this vacancy filling rate that we call Q very often. Uh, it's always much less than two, but in particular, it's always much less than infinity, which tells us that it does take time for firms also to fill vacant jobs. Um, and so if you looked at the average here, um, the average of this vacancy filling rate, actually it's quite close to one here. So what does that tell us? Um, this is telling us that on average in the US, how what is the duration that a job stays vacant? What is the average duration? You can compute it as we saw before by just inverting your uh, average vacancy filling rate. And so your average duration is going to be 1 over 1, and so it's just one month. So in the US, on average, it takes about a month to fill, uh, to fill a vacancy. Okay, so it's something that's quite uh, substantial. And you can see again, this vacancy filling rate is moving around a lot over time. So exactly as a job finding rate, you have big cyclical fluctuations. So in recession and expansion, things are very different. So what do we have here? So what happens in recession? Well, it's quite interesting. You can see, so again, we have our shaded areas that show recession. Here, here, here. And what we can see is that in recession, Unlike the job filling rate, the vacancy fi uh, filling rate is going up a lot. You can see here, Great Recession, it was actually quite fast to fill a vacancy. You can see it here, that the recession of the 19, uh, 1980s, at the Volcker Recession, it was extremely fast to fill a vacancy. Gulf War Recession, it was very fast to fill a vacancy. Dotcom uh, Bubble, very fast to fill a, a vacancy. So it seems that in bad times, while it was very hard for workers to find uh, jobs, it's very easy for firms actually to find workers. For those firms, we know that when unemployment is high, there are very few vacancies that are posted. But for those firms who post vacancies, it's very quick to find a worker. So the two uh, rates are moving in opposite direction. Uh, and in good times, the same thing uh, happens. So if you're a worker in good times, it, you find a job very quickly. But if you're a firm in good times, it's actually very difficult to find workers. And you can see it here. This is the big boom of the mid 2000s. It took a very long time to fill vacancies. This is the boom of the late 90s. It took a very long time to fill vacancies. Same thing here. You can see in every boom before every recession, it's very slow to fill vacancies. So if you look at this data, what you can see is that in good times, workers find jobs very quickly. And as a result, there is very little unemployment because you have a lot of people who can move to employment. Firms, on the other hand, they take a long time to fill their vacancies. In good time, it's partly because a lot of vacancies, uh, a lot of vacancies are posted, and so there's a lot of competition for workers, and firms are going to take a lot of time to fill their vacancies. In bad times, it's the opposite. In bad times, workers take a very long time to find jobs. The pool of unemployed workers uh, grows. Um, on the vacancy front, 
because there are very few vacancies that are posted, it's very fast for them. Uh, it's very fast for the vacancies to be filled. Okay, uh, and the fact that it takes so long to fill vacancies is very related to the fact that it takes also a long time for workers to find uh, firms. Uh, because once a vacancy is filled and once a worker finds a job, you have a match, these two things happen at the same time. 